If you bring somebody from the health sector from 100 years ago, a doctor, into a hospital today, the doctor's lost, totally lost. So many new things have happened. If you bring a teacher from 100 years ago into a classroom today, the teacher is not so lost. So this is telling us a lot of things. Upon returning from my graduate studies abroad, I came back to Colombia, totally convinced that without quality education, there can be no economic development, no social development, no sustainable development. Without quality basic education, you cannot maintain the goals in health or environment or in food security. So, you know, this was for me the key in, in, in area of intervention. And we started working with these remote, rural, multi-grade schools. These are the majority of the schools in the developing world that are not permitting that countries reach the Millennium Goals. So this was the beauty, because these schools force you to innovate anyway. You have to break away from the conventional model of education, teacher-driven pedagogy, teacher-centered, into really child-centered. Everybody talks about it, but you don't see this in the classrooms. If you go into a traditional conventional classroom, you see a teacher standing in front of children, children sitting in rows, and a teacher giving out information. In a really child-centered education and personalized and self-first lady, children were working in small groups, looking at their eyes, not their necks, interacting and dialoguing. We had to transform the concept of the traditional textbook into dialoguing textbooks. Teachers don't have time to plan everyday wonderful lessons, not even in you know, elite schools and less in public schools in developing countries. It was a shift from transmission of knowledge to social construction of knowledge. We had to rethink everything and think of a new role of the teacher instead of being a transmitter of facts. Information is changing permanently, so the real role of the teacher is to facilitate, to orient, to catalyze, to motivate, to be a good leader with values. All countries measure their language and math. But how to measure empathy, how to measure self-esteem, how to measure fair play, how to measure solidarity, these are the other issues that we want to measure. That are more related with civic engagement, with citizenship. This is an issue of having good citizens, like John Dewey said 90 years ago. <laughs> It's not only academic results, you need social skills of how to live together peacefully. The way one learns has an impact on politics, on citizenship, on democracy, on peace.